I went to the moped store with stoppers. YouTube channel. This is so crazy. Uh, it's something I've wanted to do for a long time. And I thought there's no better way for me to do my first video than to do, of course, a Chris tier list. Now, this has been a, a long-standing debate between my friends, myself, and my family as to which Chris is the best. If you know me, you know which one I'm gonna put as first. But I thought we could venture into some of the lesser known Chris's, or I guess some of the Chris's that wouldn't pop into our mind as the holy trinity uh, that we, most people would think of. So, I have here organized some Chris's I have selected through a very intense selection process. And today I'd love to get going on this. <clears throat> okay, let's just hit them top to bottom. Uh, first off, Christopher Reeve. Um, all I've ever seen him in is the Superman movie. So, I can't really say much about that. I haven't seen it. I heard it's good. It's very chic. Huh. No pain, no gain. Um, but that that's got to place him in D tier, I think, automatically. Next up is Christopher Lloyd. He played uh, Doc Brown in Back to the Future. We've got to go back. Roads. Where we're going, we don't need roads. Um, gotta go back and watch that movie is what I have to do. But, um, got a placement C tier. Uh, I love his performance, but again, there are a lot of good Chris's. Christopher Lee, he not only played Saruman from The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings trilogies, he also played Count Dooku in the Star Wars prequels. Um, so, he's had a long life, he's been in a lot of other movies, but I love him for those roles, so I gotta say B tier for Christopher Lee. Can we just take a second to appreciate the best Chris in the entire world, Chris Pratt, baby. He's my number one all the way. Chris Pratt is not only uh, the funniest of the Chris's, but he is also uh, my lookalike once I grow facial hair and uh, my hero. So, easy S tier, he's hilarious. He's in all the most popular franchises. He can dance. He's on Parks and Rec. Easy Chris Pratt, pinnacle. All right, Christopher Walken, <laughs> he cracks me up. Uh, he has one of the most iconic voices in uh, maybe all of entertainment. He was in the famous SNL sketch uh, with the quote, needs more cowbell. I got a fever. And the only prescription is more cowbell. Hey, it's uh, Christopher Walken here. And I'm just wanna say, I do a horrible Christopher Walker impression. He is absolutely hilarious. His voice easily puts him in A tier. All right, next suspect, Christopher Plummer. Uh, this guy's a legend, acting legend. Uh, he's in Knives Out, which is one of my favorite movies. Um, and I just have to say, he's an all-around great guy. You know what? He's going to C tier. Next up, Chris Farley. My goodness, what a legend. Taken from us too soon. Um, he's, his run on SNL is absolutely legendary and hilarious. Uh, some iconic sketches, Van Down by the River. When you're living in a van down by the river. Some great movies. Tommy Boy was a childhood favorite. He has a brief appearance in Wayne's World. And his ability to go all out, easy A tier for me. If not S tier, we'll see. Next up, we got Christopher Nolan. Uh, Christopher Nolan is a renowned writer and film director. He's made many movies that I absolutely enjoy. The Batman Trilogy, Inception, and Interstellar as well are all amazing movies. Tenet, that's coming out soon. That looks very interesting. Uh, overall, he is totally ahead of the game in the film industry, and I love all the films he makes. Another A tier for me. Next up, Chris Columbus. 
To be honest, I just put him on this list because there's also another Chris Columbus who's a little more famous, but this Chris Columbus directed one of my favorite movies, uh, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. For that, he gets an easy C tier. Let's move on. This is this next one is important to me because in our quadra, uh, quadra prime pen, pinnacle Chris's, uh, Chris Pine, I believe, is the most slept on. He is equally as handsome, equally as talented, and although he's in maybe less popular movies, he's still in a lot of movies that I really enjoy. All the Star Trek movies, Rise of the Guardians, Wonder Woman, and many more. Still gotta give him A tier, though. Upon editing this video, Chris Farley has been moved to S tier because of his performance in Lunch Lady Land by Adam Sandler. Alright, next up we got Christopher Columbus, not to be confused with Chris Columbus. Uh, this guy was an old guy, and he, well I guess he's old because he's dead. I don't know why I said old guy. He was an explorer and he is credited for finding America. He pretty much just adventured for a living, which is what all the girls on Tinder want to do, I guess. For me, he gets C tier only because he has a holiday and I got the day off from school. Ah, Christopher Eccleston. So to be honest, the only reason I put him on this list uh, was because he was my least favorite doctor in all of Doctor Who. May get some hate for that, but I just think he's worse than David Tennant, Matt Smith, uh, Peter Capaldi, who came after him. So, honestly, F tier. Didn't like him that much. He also played Malekith in Thor The Dark World, which is the only Marvel movie I don't own because it sucks. So, easy F tier for Christopher Eccleston. At least he's British. Chris Rock, absolutely hilarious. He is one of the best black comedians out there, up there with Dave Chappelle, Kevin Hart. Plus, he voiced Marty in the Madagascar movies. So for me, Chris Rock gets a B tier right up there with Christopher Lee. Now we get into some of the most popular Chris's. Uh, first off, Chris Evans, what a, what a hunk. I mean, if you've seen Nine Knives Out, you'll see he wears a lot of sweaters, and I'm a sucker for Chris Evans in a sweater. Um, he's also done a great job as Captain America in the Marvel movies. That is America's ass. Especially his earlier stuff, The Perfect Score, which I think is a very slept on film. Also has Scarlett Johansson in it. Really, he can do it all, and God damn it, he's hot. Gotta put Chris Evans up there, S tier. All right, next up, Chris Brown. While I'm not personally a big fan of his, especially through all his controversy, um, he has made some decent music, and he was in Freaky Friday with Lil Dicky. Gotta put him E tier, I think. And finally, our Australian dreamboat. Oh, man. Chris Hemsworth. He's Thor. He's Thor in real life. I think he's very funny. Um, not only was he Thor, but also he was in the most recent uh, Men in Black. So, I mean, what else is there to say that hasn't already been said? So, Chris Hemsworth, easy S tier for me. And you know what? We're moving, we're moving Chris, Prine, Chris Pine up to S tier, I think. So we have the the main four. I know it's a pretty loaded S tier, but hey, there are a lot of good Chris's, like I said, so this is my final Chris tier list. Um, I may be a little biased towards some of these, but you make a Chris tier list. Share it with me. Let me know what you think. I'm super excited. I think this is a perfect first video for me to make. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna be making a lot more uh, videos for you, some sketches. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching. Chris Pratt's the best.